to land. Troubles you need to share. Ah, oh, I miss talking to you already. Whatever you need, you got it. I wouldn't trade my life with you for anything else in the universe. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. Another deserted Helium-3 facility. Must have been abandoned when this rock went dry.
two of us make quite the pair, eh? I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Of course not. No one has. If an encounter with this level of importance had occurred in the past, I assure you that Constellation would be well acquainted with it. Yes, <laughs> I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If we are to learn anything from the Starborn, we're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. I wouldn't say I was afraid. More like approaching the situation with caution. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? They're certainly hostile, but I don't think they're here to completely annihilate us, or they would have done so already. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. No, not time travelers. I don't think the science is there to support that theory. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence. Eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Truthfully, I haven't the slightest idea, but just the thought that any of the secrets of the universe could be revealed from the Starborn is terribly exciting. I knew I could count on your support. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. Its jump system down.
stop the Crimson Fleet. Glad you're in the fleet. If you want, I would have killed you already. Does the UC really think Sisdev scares us? Better place to reach and ready ourselves for our next mission. You have returned. A cursory scan indicates that you are in good health. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you? Having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Exactly. When the universe presents us with a threat, we can't afford to run away. We need to stay in the fight. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. 
Console parts, replacement wires that have burned out, some fixes to the intercom between the station and the lodge. Yeah, she's an old station. Be ready for retirement by the stretch of a human life. Took a lot of modifications to tune into the anomalies. Give you the down of it. Worried not all of the repairs we need will take. Compatibility across the years tends to fray. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. up some of these panels? Ah, uh, miss coming up here. We should visit Vlad more often. <sighs> Down in a Jeff. Let me just check a few more things. Just gonna do some more spot welding. Can never be too careful. Nice work! Didn't burn your hand off. That's a win. If you could help me install these parts. This scanning equipment needs to be installed. I could use your help. I think we are done. Thank you. Thank you again. I'm just going to check a few more things. Test the computer over there? Help Vladimir code up this system the first time. Now, how did this work again? Now that is some fine team. Lend a hand? Grab a couple of wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. Let's see if Vladimir can tell us what went wrong. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. You call her the wrong wires. Station showing red. Bed. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. The Scavenger hires every gun and knife willing to chop relics out of their owner's hands for pay. Scrapes out any derelict ships his mosquitoes can find. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. 
think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. He's got a reputation for seeing the gold in things, but he's no lab coat. Thinking he knows it's unique, but not why. All the more reason to clutch tightly. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Andresia with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way. So make sure you're ready. As we always say, each member of Constellation is their own conscience. I'll leave the details of the doing to you. Catch a smile out there. I'll assist Vladimir for now. You go on ahead and get that artifact. We'll be busy fixing up the eye for a while. I'll talk to you when I can. I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. All those credits. And you just handed them over to the Crimson Fleet. You even need to ask such a question? But do not turn this around on me. Explain to me why you would do such a thing. All those credits. And you just handed them over to the Crimson Fleet. The pirates, the ones known for robbing, murder, and general betrayal, they will be good allies? Are you listening to yourself? It is at least refreshing that you acknowledge you were only thinking of yourself. Did you not think for a moment about the impact this will have on anyone else? The fleet is now stronger, and they will use that strength on anyone and everyone. Clearly not. There are few easy choices in life, but I believe this was easier than most. At least you see it now. If only you had seen it sooner. I cannot tell you what to do, nor force you to do anything. I ask only that you think about the consequences of your actions, and how far-reaching they can be. Never would I have imagined to encounter something like the Starborn. Now I feel that, rather than having answers, we only have more questions. Yes, by any meaning of the word. Regardless of how impossible they may have seemed before now, I must say that I do not like being threatened by anyone. It did not sound that way to me, but I suppose we will see which is true. Clearly, the Starborn are connected to the artifacts, which would mean that they are also connected to that temple you found. Did they make these things? Have they appropriated them? This all implies there is something more, something we do not yet understand. I was just getting used to how complicated they already were. We will need to be on our guard from now on. They seem to know much about us. Perhaps we can learn more about them to make it even. Whether we learn more or not, I now have a difficult decision to make. I must decide whether to report this to House Barun.
Before it matters what Sarah will allow, I must first decide for myself what is right. My agreement with Sarah was that I would withhold information about the artifacts until we knew more. I certainly do now. But to inform them of this, I must also admit that I have not reported all that I have seen to this point. Then I shall consider how to relay the information and take it up with Sarah when I can. I do appreciate that I can trust you with this. It is good to have someone to talk to. And I appreciate that greatly. We should return to our search then. There is still so much to do. Who let you on board? Thought Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. What well, he calls us. Some old Earth term. Oh god, the captain's gonna love you. Just what I need. Two blowhards. I have no interest in partying. Go on, then. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. But the locks on the cages are pretty high-end. Thankfully. Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing pleasure. And before you ask, Petrov's the only one with the keys, so... Don't try bribing any of the crew. You just waste your money. Trade it for it. Some dusty hauling ore from the fringe. <laughs> Was glad when he left. It's all shakes and muttering. Shut your eyes. wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. 
We have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone through all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Oh ho, you do have a point. Reverse psychology won't work on me. Just ask poor Vadek. Mm, no. No, for once I have to lean on my better judgment. The vault has to stay closed. Do you like my ship? Stole it myself. Well, technically I salvaged it from scrap. But who wants to be so dreadfully dull, huh? I hope whatever you took is worth the risk. Got work to do. Today then, but don't push your luck. 